So we're going to use oxidation numbers quite a bit. They're always based on the electronegativity of the elements. And there's some other guidelines that you can use. The most important guideline is the sum of all of the oxidation numbers of every atom in the chemical. When you add all those together, that sum has to equal the charge of the overall chemical. That's vital. A second guideline is to treat polyatomic ions as one unit because that will help you figure out some other elements' oxidation numbers. The most, electroneg most electronegative element will have the oxidation number, which is equal to however many electrons it needs to satisfy the octet rule. And this will be a negative number. So for example, in water, Oxygen is more electronegative, so I'm going to write the oxidation number on the top. The oxidation number of oxygen will be assigned a negative 2. I'm going to write the charge underneath, and the charge is negative 2. The total charge on water is neutral, so the total of the two hydrogens has to be a positive 2, which means we're going to assign each hydrogen an oxidation number of positive 1. A common exception is hydrogen peroxide. This compound, oxygen is assigned an oxidation number of negative 1. The total charge of those two oxygen atoms is negative 2. The total charge of the two hydrogens will be positive 2. So hydrogen is its normal positive 1 in hydrogen peroxide. So it's a lot easier to see with some examples. The oxidation number of sodium, notice this is not a compound, this is just an element. And the charge in this element is neutral, so the oxidation number is zero. In a compound like calcium bromide, we're going to start by giving bromine, the more electro electronegative element, its oxidation number of negative one because bromine needs one electron to form the octet rule, the total charge of those two bromines will be a negative 2. Total charge of the calcium has to be a positive 2, and we only have one atom, so the oxidation number is a positive 2 for the calcium. So it would be incorrect to say the oxidation number of bromine is a negative 2 because we're talking about each bromine atom has an oxidation number of negative 1. If you have an iodine and a fluorine connected together, the more electronegative element is fluorine, so fluorine will be assigned a negative 1, which means the iodine, becoming because it's less electronegative, will be assigned a positive 1. In the dichromate anion, start by giving oxygen its normal value of negative 2. The charge of seven of those oxygens is negative 14. And notice this compound, this chemical has a negative 2 charge, so the chromium has to be a positive 12 when you add both of them together. The total charge is a positive 12. To find the oxidation number, you give the charge of each chromium which will be a positive 6. Hydrochloric acid, chlorine is a more electronegative. It's going to be assigned a negative 1. Hydrogen will be a positive 1. Hydrogen is usually a positive 1, but in a case like sodium hydride, it turns out that the hydrogen is more electronegative. So hydrogen will be assigned a negative 1, and the sodium will be assigned a positive 1. In diatomic oxygen, this is not a compound, just an element. Each oxygen has to have an oxidation number of zero, not negative two, because if each one had a negative two, the total charge on oxygen would be a negative four, and this chemical has a zero charge. For the last one, here's one where we have a polyatomic. We're trying to figure out the oxidation number for the vanadium. And we know that this polyatomic has a charge of negative 1. So three of those will make the total amount of negatives negative 3. 
The vanadium has to be a positive 3 because we know that this chemical has a net charge of 0. So we know that vanadium's oxidation number will be a positive 3, and we can look at the permanganate by itself. Oxygen, more electronegative, so that's a negative 2. Four of those make negative 8. The manganese must be a positive 7 charge, and the oxidation number is the same when you only have one atom. So the manganese is a positive 7, and oxygen is a negative 2.